Hello and welcome to Beyond Tutorials Part 2. Today I'll be showing you how to make a map and put your player in it. So I have a bunch of things already set up um, for this tutorial, and maybe um, the next couple, but I'll show you how to set everything up, so don't worry. So first we want to make a map file. I'll just delete mine so I can show you. So file, new, go to map file, and usually I can call, I just call it map. You can call it Earth or Pacific location if you so desire, but you can call it whatever you want. And this is the how many how many uh, tiles it is in the x direction, how many tiles it is in the y direction. Um, a tile is defined as 32 pixels by 32 pixels. Oops, 32, 50. I usually like to start off with 50 when I'm starting a project. It's a decent size, and yeah. Um, so you got this nice big decent size space and what you can do if you ever want to change the size You're not limited to it. You can press options set map size and here you can change it again Don't worry about the Z plane right now um, Really don't need it for beginners unless you already know what that's about then don't worry about it for now. I'll cover it later So now we got our map, but it's empty so we need stuff in it So do file new um, let's go to icon file. Icon files are kind of like picture files. Think of them like picture files. So what I've already done is made a folder um, called art, and so you can do the same. And to make folders, you just call it whatever you want, art, and then just do a backslash, and then call the folder picture folder what you want. So I called it um, simple turfs, and these turfs will be all the the simple turps on the map like grass, dirt, um, you always want to keep yourself organized when you have a large project. So the simple turfs is going to have all of our you know simple turfs like grass, dirt. So make it, I already made it, you press OK, I'm not going to. So now in art you should have simple turfs. Double click it, it should be empty, mine has grass in it. Um, just make a grass or your basic um, turf, and I'll tell you what kind of what turfs are later. Um, double click the bottom, and you put the change the state name. Call it whatever you want. Mine's grass. If yours is grass, call it grass too. Now we need the code file. Go to file new, and go to code file. And now, yeah, I put in another folder called code. Again, this is just for you. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I called this file turfs, and don't worry, you can rename the, the files la later if you need them changed, if you're adding new stuff into them with your project. So I just call them turfs for now. Um, press OK, I'm going to cancel. So go to turfs, and we're blank. And before I start with the coding process, I'm just going to explain what turfs are and what kind of like the object types are in um, Beyond. So we have mobs objects and turfs, the ones I've been kind of talking about. Um, mobs are players or enemies. That's usually what you want to make them. Objects are things the player interacts with. Things the player interacts with. So I don't know, switches or um, maybe I'll cover that later. Um, but yeah, you kind of get the point. Uh, turfs are non-movable. Objects and mobs can move very freely and very easily. Um, turfs, you have to do some pretty weird stuff to be able to move them. I I can do that type of stuff, but they're not friendly to move. Um, so, yeah, usually these you want to keep your grass, your dirt, so things that aren't going to move during the whole game. That's what kind of turfs are for. So then you can comment them out if you're not new. If you're not new to programming, uh, commenting is back two black backslashes, two backslashes, and that comments them out. And what commenting is is basically um, it ignores this. It ignores the code. It doesn't read it. It's just for you, the coder, to see if you need to message yourself. Hey, this is grass, code, or whatever. Um, just a message for yourself. 
So now let's make the, the turf. So beyond's like a tree. So we start with turf. And inside this turf, we have grass. And I really don't like this way. Um, I'll show you a different way to define it. Um, usually I do is turf, grass. There are times when I don't do this way, but I'll show you later and show you how I kind of go. But you can code how you want. I have a certain way of coding. You can do it your own way. So now we'll do show you how to define this grass. This grass is a part of turfs, which has its own set rules. But grass can be defined in its own ways too. You can change its um, define its own icon. And icons basically what icon file it's from. So it's from simple turfs. So simple. Oh, oops. Simple turfs. Dmi. And then the next one we have to define is icon state. These are like the first kind of things to define usually. Define. And icon state, if you double click simple turfs, is what you named it. So mine's named grass. And just to make you notice, notice the single quote, single quote there at the end, and double quote there. Um, so icon uses single quotes, um, icon state uses double quotes. So now you should be able to build it, build, compile, uh, go to your map now, and look, turf, underneath turf, there's now a object, or another turf. So add. Basically, just add them individually, but with turfs, usually um, I, I just use fill. You just fill a big space up. Just fill the whole map for now. Okay, now we've got our turf in. Got some nice, lovely grass. How do we get our player in? Well, to do that, you'll make another icon file. I already showed you how to do that, so I'm sure you, sure you can figure that out. So make a new icon file. Call it player mob. I think that's a good name for it. And here we got a mob drawn by myself. But if you want to go on, there's a lot of sites you can go on and get icons if you're not the best artist, if you just want to experiment. So make your icon. Um, standing still, you can change the frames. Standing still should have about one frame. And then put your pictures in. Then back. And then with. This is the movement frame. So basically, go up here. You can set um, how fast these frames switch. And I usually use four frames for movement. I just like the look of it. And usually, I both do two. Um, mine's 2.2. .2, I don't know why. I just kind of liked it a bit more with uh, my drawings. So then, what's that? Oh, yeah, make sure you double click this mob and do movement state. Make sure the original mob has the same name as the movement state, but the movement state will have this clicked. And as you can see, they're both the same name, which is blank, nothing. And this is movement state. So now we'll go on to putting it in. So for now, we'll just we'll just go into our um, the first code file that was ever made. And here is the mob. And we'll just say icon equals, so we're defining the mob, the player. Um, and we're saying that he equals to, to his art file, which is player mob.dmi. And what this should do is you should be able to build it now and run it. And there's your player. Congratulations, you can move. There's just the simple grass. And looks like we're good. So this is ends this tutorial. Next tutorial I think I'll probably be doing a very simplistic AI and start very simplistic combat and teach you some more coding, especially those for you people who don't who've never coded before. Um show you a bit more how the Beyond language works. So I'll see you next time. Next time it'll be a lot more learning and a lot more stuff but uh it'll help you guys I hope it helps you guys a lot 